Far from his home in East Dakota, a lone baie in a wintry forest meditates to cultivate his baie powers. But like all outsiders, the baie has run afoul of the long-haired redneck sheriff and the deputy. The baie perches upon a picnic table, at one with his wilderness environs. We'll roust that stranger out of here, the sheriff boasts, and then he spies the baie. Hey, baie, we've come to run you out of town. They surround the tranquil baie, and the deputy fires a warning shot. But the baie simply disappears. The sheriff cannot believe his eyes. The deputy is stunned. The lawman stands stupidly in the clearing, and the baie reappears directly in front of the sheriff. Gun raised, the sheriff believes he has the upper hand, but again the baie calmly raises his hands, and the rifle is no more. Lashing out with his fists, the sheriff is powerless as the baie returns to the sublime wilderness. Back at headquarters, the two corrupt officials hatch a plan. A plan to trap the baie. But what do you use to lure a baie to a trap? I know, said the deputy. A pomegranate and rutabaga sandwich. I happen to have one right here. Put some poison in it and we'll catch him for sure, chuckles the sheriff. And sure enough, the baie cannot resist his favorite food. At gunpoint, the baie has lost his powers. The sheriff is on the way. The baie must concentrate. He must expel the evil rednecks and return to East Dakota. And so he does, across the grassy field, where he will be welcome no more.